In this lesson, we're going to see how we can assess cardiac amyloidosis using CMR. Cardiac amyloidosis is a systemic disorder with the extracellular deposition of insoluble amyloid protein. The gold standard for the diagnosis of cardiac amyloidosis is an endomyocardial biopsy, as shown in the image on the left. But CMR can provide very helpful diagnostic information. It can identify myocardial thickening, atrial dilatation, and show evidence of diffuse late guard limb enhancement in the left ventricle. This can also affect the right ventricle and the atria. We also see an unusual appearance of a dark blood pool during late guard limb enhancement imaging, whereas normally the blood pool would be relatively bright. And we may see evidence of pericardial and or pleural effusions. Let's take a look. This is a Cine CMR image showing a two-chamber view of the heart. This is the left ventricle, mitral valve and left atrium. And this is from a 74-year-old man with cardiac amyloidosis. And we can see thickening of the myocardium, which is concentric throughout the whole of the left ventricle. Strictly speaking, it's not technically correct to call this hypertrophy because there's no increase in the size or number of myocytes. Instead, the myocardium is thickened as a result of the deposition of amyloid protein. The patient also has moderately impaired systolic function with an ejection fraction of 38%. Here's another example of myocardial thickening. This is from an 81-year-old man with cardiac amyloidosis. Uh, this shows a Cine CMR in the four-chamber view, so we have left and right ventricles and left and right atria. Uh, and what we see here is, again, marked concentric thickening of the uh, left ventricular myocardium, but also thickening of the uh, right ventricle as well. A consequence of uh, myocardial thickening is diastolic impairment and elevation of ventricular filling pressures, and this uh, increases the stretch on the atria. So in this patient uh, with cardiac amyloidosis, again, we can see myocardial thickening, but also we can see dilatation of the atria as a consequence of these raised filling pressures. When we perform late guard limb enhancement imaging, we see the diffuse uh, distribution of late guard limb enhancement in the myocardium, uh, again, as a consequence of the cardiac uh, amyloid deposition. But one other characteristic feature that we see with cardiac amyloidosis on late guard limb enhancement imaging is a dark blood pool. Uh, in most patients, when we undertake late guard limb enhancement imaging, we see that the myocardium is very dark, but the uh, blood pool is generally relatively bright. So this is a normal patient, a relatively bright um, blood pool image. But with cardiac amyloid, uh, we see this diffuse deposition of amyloid um, in the myocardium, but we have a notably dark blood pool. And that's a feature which is uh, very suggestive of the presence of cardiac amyloidosis. Why does this happen? Well, uh, gardlinium binds to um, the amyloid protein uh, in the body. Uh, and as a result of this, it is drawn out of the blood pool um, relatively quickly. So the uh, blood pool appears darker than normal. Another feature that is seen in cardiac amyloidosis is the presence of a pericardial or sometimes a pleural effusion. This is a Cine CMR free chamber view, left ventricle, left atrium and aortic valve and aortic root. Uh, and we can see uh, evidence of a relatively small pericardial effusion present. So in summary, how do we perform CMR for cardiac amyloidosis? Well, we can use CMR to assess left ventricular wall thickness, volume, systolic function, and mass. We can also assess any wall thickening affecting the right ventricle. We can use CMR to assess the size of the left and right atria. And we can look for any pericardial or pleural effusions. 
And it's important to describe the pattern of myocardial late guard limb enhancement and also the appearance of a blood pool and whether it appears darker than one would normally expect. If you'd like to learn more about this topic, then take a look at this uh, paper on MRI uh, in cardiac amyloidosis published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, Cardiovascular Imaging in 2009. So, do you already feel more comfortable with and knowledgeable about CMR? Good. Before we move on to our next module, let's try some more quiz questions. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.